Welcome back to Vi and Raxal Cave. As you can tell, I did a bit of level grinding. And, um... I think we're strong enough to deal with the vampire. Once for all, I think. Also, what I did was, um... During my level grinding... I got battle shoes for Sandor and Rachel, and a power ring for Pottle and PJ. So, I'm all right, like so. And just speed things up like so. There we go. That's how I speed level, folks. <laughs> That's how I grind, just like that. Like... Take two. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Pottle and PJ are on magic duty. As for Sandor and Rachel, ass beaten. One on one. Ooh, Inferno, what is this? Ooh! Is that spell we had when we were taking on the Earth Elemental? Nice! Do you have, you have Alakazam and for Infernal? Oh, please light him up. Go, my item monkeys. That's all they're going to be good for in this battle, just being item monkeys.
It's a little something but shoot. That little can go a long way. He must have a lot of HP because he is not going down without a fight. You have found the mysterious vizier of Zal. What in the world? It vibrates with a strange magic. Hmm, wait. There is an inscription. It's a spell. If I chant it, this platform will rise into the air. How utterly useless! Wait. Why don't you get on it and keep counting? Until this you out of sight! Until this you out of my sight! Let me check Toad! Let's head back. <laughs> well, she's dying! Enough! Let's move! Well, in that case, um... I'm gonna do a smart thing. Exito! It so pays off just to do the following. It so pays off just to level grind just three levels ahead and just like, oh hey, pff, three levels do make a difference! Which they do. That, that, that's the main reason why. I just hate to know it all. Well, you told me about it, so therefore, I know about it. So... Yes, Mount Bull is that prominent peak to the south. And that is where we're going to find the next orb, namely, the Orb of Wind. Can't take these graves near the caves. Something spooks them. You're talking about horses now? Get like. <laughs> no, I'm not talking to horses. Many strange sights have been seen near the downs at night. Evil X there. So yeah, Mountain, that's Mountain Bowl, one of the great mysteries of life. Burn there, all hollow and sight. I go explore it, except for the spooks that haunt it. Okay, give me a second. We're going to see where we're going to go to next. More than likely it's going to be Mount Bowl, but just to make sure, you know what I got to do. So give me a sec. Alright, a few level later. We're going to climb up Mount Bowl.
Yeah, at the same time, we're going after the... Oh, my lord. We got Beetlejuice! As I was saying before, we're going up to Mount Bowl and we're going to get the second orb, namely the Orb of Wind, here. Kakasaur. <laughs> that name, yo, that name. got two women, two guys, and they're facing a cockasaur. Oh, man. The, 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 the jokes, man. I swear the jokes create themselves. Find an exit stone, which is definitely going to be needed. Well, let's see. We're dealing with some interesting enemies, folks. <laughs> Go away, Beetlejuice! A staircase, a staircase way up in the wall there. How do we reach it? Stupid elf! Have you forgotten? A, have you forgotten our magic pedestal? Oh, the vizier, what should I call it? Doesn't seem so useless now, does it, boy? Now everybody climb on, and I'll read the incantation. PJ recited the spell. Can't see that. <coughs> I mean, there's no need to be naming, you know, name calling PJ. Blind worm and a caucus. Oh, good. The spice is the worm. The worm is the spice! You definitely want to get rid of... Oh, come on! You definitely want to get rid of the cock sword just for that one reason. Because it can and will stone you. Fireball. And if we all know anything about stoning, if the entire party is dead, that means it's game over. Dead or stone, you're, it, you're, you are screwed. I love the fact that, you know, find a kiss. kiss. Um, I love the fact that, like, when you get hit, <laughs> 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 
you're off to the side, and you're just like, snore. <laughs> So defeating the um, vampire was necessary because it'll help you get through Mount Bolt. And from what I read in the walkthrough, the boss here is very, very very potential. I'm not going I'm not going to spoil it. But the boss is very pretentious. It's going to be one in bosses that basically will test you. So therefore, it's best if you just basically level a bit before coming here, which that's what I did. Spent about an hour in speed grind and bam. I'm sorry, but it's like, oh, if I was Sandor, I'd be like, did you just call him a Spock lover? That's when I look at Pyle, and I look at PJ. PJ, come here. Why'd you call him, why'd you call him that? Potential little prick. Apologize for him right now. Not because he's the Prince of Laura, but it's like he don't take shit for nobody. A lot like me, I don't take shit for nobody. I'm sorry, but this one has been taken. Of course this one has been taken. I was the one who took it. <laughs> now, the, now... I'm going to say this right now, I'm going to be wandering through this mountain for quite some time because I don't know where everything is. Plus, like I said, last time I actually played this game, I was a, I was a teenager. I've never beaten this game before, so to me it's like, okay. Me and my younger self combine! Together we will beat this game. Come hell or high water, we will beat this game.
Elf's hat. It's a dead end. A sprite ribbon. Mm. So the sprite ribbon doesn't, really doesn't do much of anything. It's an... <coughs> well, okay. I ain't gonna complain. Too bad they don't tell you which floor you're on, like, you're on B1, B2, B3, you know, that sort of thing. But I can tell I am getting close to my destination. I'm pretty sure we are real close to our destination, so let me just heal. Oh, come on, guys, seriously. <laughs> All right, let me check my status. Unless my eyes fail me. That's the orb. How can it just float there? Oh, I see. It's just sitting on a jet of air. Must prove your worth. Battle the Guardian Idol. 
to know. Now you must choose. Will you challenge the wind elemental? Yeah. Rise, thou elemental! Rise, thou winds! Oh no, wind elemental! Great. Just great. Yeah, this is the Wind Elemental. This boss, as I as I've read up on, is purely just pain in the ass. Well, at least it won't be as it won't be as bad as taking on the the vampire. Unless he's gonna do that kind of shit. And this is old school turn base. And this is one boring battle because all I'm going is just constantly hitting the dude up. That's all it's going to do, just... That, that's all it's really going to do, just, just that. Been this entire time, you know, it's not like it's been a long time since I talked to you viewers out there. A lot of things have been going on since um we last seen each other or last talked to talked to each other. Oh man, I finally went back to work last week. Funny thing about that is um I went back to work and. Career day. They had career day all week. So, what I did was I talked about what I do for a living, which is mainly, um, I'm an author. And technically, One thing about authors is, you know, you gotta make money, you gotta, you have to make, you have to take money in order to make money, you know, to make a book, sometimes you will have to, you know, if you're going to do self-publishing, it's going to take a lot out of your own pocket in order to make a book.
Really, dude? So, it, it's the truth. In order to make money, in order to make money, you know, you gotta take a little to get a little. You know, that's how it is. You really have to. You really have to take a little in order to get a, to get a little. You know. So, you know, it's kind of interesting because I mentioned one word that, um, that they should take with them, you know, and that's mezase. Mezase is Japanese for aim to become or aim to be. You know, don't sell for second less, just aim for the best you can become. So sometimes you gotta, t you, you, know, you have to basically just do that, you know. You gotta aim to become the best. And I've heard a lot of good responses about what they want to be when they grow up. Like one wants to be the president of the United States or something. Some just basically just blew me away with that. Like, you want to be the what now? You want to be the next president of the United States? And then there's, then there's some that are just simple, like. Well, I want to be a policeman, I want to be this, I want to be that. I want to be a veterinarian. I was like, that's cool, you know? And then, you know, I heard the usual, I want to be a, a sports celebrity. I'm like, yeah, that, that's nice. Man. All in all, you know, sometimes, like I said, it's, it's the... It's what you want, you just gotta stick with. Like, sometimes you have to stick with what you want to be. What you're good at, that's what you that's what you go for. That's what I believe in. But sometimes you have to, you know? Now sometimes, in, in your most darkest hour, because everybody has a darkest hour, you can't just say, I, I want to give up, I don't want to be this anymore, I want to be something else, and da 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 da. You know, it's what you really want to be you don't give up on, you know. That's the thing. You just don't want to give up on what you want to be. It's more about what you're good at. That's what you did. That's what you work with. What you're good at. <laughs> and that's why I tell them, you know, what you're good at, work with that. Don't just... Don't just settle for something less than that. Just whatever you're really good at, go with it. Play bosses like these because they take like 20 minutes or so. Plus your your your. Weapons are completely under underpowered. But as I was saying before, you, you have to do that sometimes. You have to basically go with that. You know, just, you know, don't consider for anything less than. Well, I want to be. I don't want to be this, but I want to be. I 
I don't want to be this. And even one of the older students, basically as a student intern at, 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 in the class, she has a real big aim too. She wants to be a veterinarian too. Or, or not, not, no, she don't want to be a veterinarian. She wants to be a pediatrician. And I say, you know, th there's not enough of them in the world. I do mean it. There's not enough. There really isn't enough of those in the world. Because really, if you really think about it, you know, We have far too many, far too many uh, sports, and not enough arts. We have too many doctors, but not in the places where, where they're near the most, like pe pediatrics, you know, and such. I do mean that, you know, I, I do mean that. Because really, where it counts, that's what matters. You know, that's, that's, that's what I believe in. I believe that nobody should give up their dream for anything less than their, their actual best. Like, I, well, I want to be something else. Then. Like, take me for example. Originally, I wanted to be a judge. And then I thought about it over time. Like, do I really want to be a judge? I just said that just to be saying that. You know, you can say things just to say it, but, you know, to stand by, like, you have to find some sort of talent you're really good at. So, when I was growing up, my talent lied in what I was putting down on paper. I'm like, and when I say I wanted to be a judge, I'm like, well, you can still be a judge. I'm like, no, we got too many of those. So I'm not kidding. We got we got too many of those. And the problem with that is, well, there's not enough of uh, artists in the world. So I decided, you know, I'd rather be an artist. I said, what's wrong with me being an artist, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being an artist. And there's nothing wrong with um, wanting to follow said art. I mean, that, I mean, that's important. That's why I tell. That's why I tell kids at that age, whatever you do, don't give up on your dreams. Don't stop giving up on your dreams. When I told him about, you know, me becoming an author, I said, well, I just found, I just found my own. Um, I, I just found what I'm good at doing. I didn't even realize how good I'm, I'm, I was at it until I'm like, I basically said, well, I started making poems. Uh, you know, I started doing poetry around 19 years old. Took a few courses. <coughs> you know, I, 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 I did take like a creative writing course.
And, you know, it's good to take a few courses. And that's what I did. I just took up a few courses in, in college. And yeah, college didn't just, you know, college wasn't really appealing to me. It really wasn't. It just was just... It really wasn't, you know. You would think, oh, college, you can actually get somewhere. I'm like, yeah, that may be true, but... If my talents could take me somewhere... Motherfucker. Um... Don't be doing that shit. Why couldn't I be scoring like 100s right now? Or two, 250s or something, you know, at least. At least, you know, that much, you know. I mean, come on now. I mean, if this was Wild Arms, this this be, this be like, oh hey, go ahead, grass, cause I got, cause I got it, cause I got this. And... I can imagine if this was Wild Arms for some reason, like, oh hey, I can just beat your ass, oh hey. I'd be mildly surprised if I can actually beat this boss with, with just one person alone, which I DOUBT THAT WILL WORK! Cause, oh hey, I can cheat you! I think that's the worst thing you can come up with, is like, oh hey! This is the best army you can come up with, um, we're sorry. Dick. Seriously, that, that's a freaking dick right there. It's like, Psh. It's like, how can you beat a boss in which, it, basically, it does that. It's like, oh, hey, 100, Psh. dead. Uh, it's, I swear, it's like, it's like, oh, you want this, oh, you want this herb. Guess what? You're gonna have to face the most, the most annoying boss in in, in the entire game. I was like, oh, you're gonna have to face the wind elemental. Oh, great! I gotta face you. <laughs> oh, I think I should try that again. <laughs> so, uh, hey, you want to take you want to take this orb? How bad do you want this orb? I don't really want that orb that bad. No, you, no, 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 no. Take it. Come on. Take it. You're, you're a big boy. You can take this orb. Just like you can take any woman you want, but you don't want to because you're the Princess Lorath. But every woman want, wants you, you, you nuts, but you don't want that because you're the Princess Lorath and you have someone you need to save. Cause I'm the piece of Lure F. And and Sandor's like <laughs> Sandor just had that look like the fuck <laughs> I'm not lying, it's like the Sandor just has that look on his face like oh shit. <laughs> it's like really 
it. No, no, really? We, we, no, really we gotta do... Really? <laughs> Really? This is looking like. God damn it. Really? And the funny thing about this game is oh, hey, you gotta have this kind of defense in order to deal with this. And the more you level, the more stronger you get, yet the more you're going to. It's like the more. You level, the more you kind of like, mm, you're taking a risk. You want to take the risk. Do you? Do you, punk? So the only thing I'm going to do is just make a save right here. Make a save right here because I don't trust that motherfucker. Even though I think it's 4,000 HP, and yet we're doing piddly amounts of damage. <laughs> You're doing piddly amounts of damage. You have 418 HP. This motherfucker could just go like lightning bolt straight through you and kill you with 100, which about, oh, maybe 100 something hit points. Something like that. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, all them, all them hit points you have. <laughs> Bye. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. Next part. Oh, next part. Um, we're going to get that orb of wind. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here. And then properly proceed with more of the journey. So stay tuned. More of Vi right after this.